I'm a political junkie. I keep my finger on the pulse of society. I know a lot about a little and a little about a lot of things. Did this movie change my mind or, or the opinions that I had on any of the characters portrayed? Slightly. So prepare yourself, guys. This is my review of the movie Bombshell. Hey guys, this is Talking Through the Medias with Chris Fagan, and like I said, this is the review of the movie Bombshells. Margot Robbie, Charlize Theron, Nicole Kidman. Now, let's get right into it, but before we get into that, hit the subscribe button if you haven't become a subscriber already. Hit the like button and share with as many people as you can. Now, let's get right into it. So, overall, what did I think about Bombshell? I, I loved it. Was it... Was it on the par or the level of like a Wolf of Wall Street? I was kind of hoping, I kind of thinking it would be, but it, it wasn't. I mean, maybe because there were no surprises. I've been, I'm a, like I said, a political junkie, and I've been watching and seeing what these guys have been up to for the past what, some odd years, and I knew the stories, but I didn't know what was going on behind the scenes. Now, now again, this was not a based on a true story kind of situation. They took liberties, they made a lot of changes, and they invented some new characters with Margot Robbie. So this was, you know, this was based on real events. This movie helped me remember that, you know, life is complicated. That these people, you know, they're they're dealing, they're they're playing with the the hand that they were dealt, and you know, they they're mothers and their wives and they're human beings. So I can see them for that. And this movie helped me remember that that if everything isn't just black and white, and there's ways to be able to uh, to see people from a certain angle in a certain different way so maybe mentally I've kind of dialed down how I feel about them on a political level based on what I saw uh, in this movie and that's probably good I could I could have a conversation with I could shake hands and I can be very respectful and maybe before then maybe I could but now thanks to a movie like this maybe I can now so that, that was great for what this movie did. This movie, I felt like it accomplished what it needed to what it needed to accomplish. It wasn't just a movie about bashing Fox or bashing people if you empathize with them or sympathize with them, or if you don't. Um, it was it was just shining a light on something that's very uh, dark and woven into a culture like that. And it's not just necessarily this news channel versus that news channel. Things like this happen in, in other corporations, other um, other other conglomerates. Uh, societies, fraternities, colleges, things like that, where a system is in place and and and, and in power for so long and gone unchecked for so long. It's, there was a lot of messages going on in this. Let's just be let's just be clear. It it poked at what is going on politically and moving forward in our politics. It poked at a lot of that. It reminded us about a, a lot of that. But a movie like this isn't going to really like change the minds of a supporter or a person that was against uh, the, these characters that were um, displayed. Movies like like this isn't gonna do. All it's going to do is is just increase the I told you so's and increase the that's all BS so <laughs> in this world. There's nothing really to, to say about the acting. Of course, obviously everybody crushed it as far as the acting. The pacing was great. There was a lot of surprises. Very well directed. Very well done. And the fact that it took liberties and, and jabs at things and then wove in to, uh, with. The Margot Robbie character being a, a fictional character, I think, was necessary to uh, to to make well, probably done politically because you don't want this to uh, to go down as you were trying to make this seem like a true story, and you're all you're doing is trying to make these people look bad because you have an agenda. When you and you woven in a fictional character, you shroud yourself with this is not 100% based on the truth. I was like, very surprised that um, a lot of what's called deep fakes were used to. And to uh, show, they showed real footage uh, for that was displayed uh, from the past uh, from the networks, and they also did a lot of deep fakes. They didn't just use actors playing people; they actually did some deep fakes, like with the Bill O'Reilly character. And I was surprised at that. I wonder if he had to agree to that or not. They didn't have to. Although a lot of things I'm curious about, and I'm going to look into later. But hey, that was how I took it. That's I felt it was a great movie. Will I add it to my collection? I don't know yet. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, it's not it's not one that I'm really I'm glad that I got to see it in the theaters, but will I add it to my collection? I haven't decided that yet. Let me know what you guys thought about it. Did you go in thinking one way and then came out thinking a total uh, other way uh, on it? Or are you one of the people that that you're like, you see, I told you so. I told you they were all like this. Or on your the other side, on the conservative side. No, 
Fox News is church, just like Margot Robbie character said. And all this was just him trying to eat damn snowflakes, trying to make them look bad. And all that, like, what you know, with all, the, with all that going on. Which, which side of the, the scope do you land on? Let me know what you guys think. And hey, until next time, guys.